concept of division hello children how are you all hello teacher we are all fine today i will tell you a new chapter division children this topic is new for you so listen to me very carefully okay teacher children we use division when we share equally or make equal groups first we take an example of equal sharing eight beads have to be put equally in four strings how many beads on each strings you can have first we put one bead on each string now we have remaining four beads so we put one more bead in each string now we have two beads in each string children in equal sharing you know how many groups are there and can find how many in each group let us now take an example of equal grouping we have 20 pencils we want to put 5 pencils in each packet how many packets will we need we first put 5 pencils in one packet 5 more in another packet then 5 more in yet another packet and finally 5 more in another packet now there are no pencils left so we can say that 20 pencils put into equal groups of 5 each gives four groups children you can see in equal grouping you know how many are in the group and can find out how many groups are there children equal grouping can also be shown as repeated subtraction in the above example we can also divide 20 pencils in 5 packets by repeated subtraction let us now take another example how many times will you be able to take away 3 from 18 children now you should know the terms used in a division sum in a division we use the terms dividend divisor and quotient the number to be divided is the dividend the number by which we divide is the divisor the answer obtained is the quotient children you know division is the inverse of multiplication but how let us explain it here 15 apples are arranged into 3 rows equally we get 5 apples in each row thus 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 now let us arrange the same apples as shown again observe the following here it is not possible to get two division facts because both the numbers multiplied are the same a multiplication fact of two distinct non-zero numbers gives two division facts a multiplication fact of a number by the same number gives only one division fact the following examples make the idea more clear 